What we do on an annual basis here at Thornapple Lake is we come out, we watch the water temperature, and once the temperatures start to warm up in the springtime, usually 40, 42 degrees, we start putting nets in the embayments. These embayments, because they're shallower, typically will warm up quicker. They've got vegetation. It attracts the fish to come into these areas to spawn. We'll come out and we set trap nets, a number of trap nets throughout the lake. We run these nets every two days and we collect all the muskies. Thornapple Lake has been one of our broodstock lakes. We've been historically using the northern strain muskie. Several years ago, we made a switch to over to Great Lake strain muskie. So by coming out now, we're checking on the status of the survival of the fish that we've been stocking for five years. Each fish is weighed, it's measured, if it hasn't been pit tagged, it gets a pit tag. We've only handled a few of the Great Lakes fish, but they're very nice sized fish. They're healthy looking. And so I suspect that as they start recruiting to that size where they're going to be in these shallow areas with other spawning fish, we will start collecting more. Hoping that within three or four years, once these fish are mature, we have enough Great Lakes fish that we can take our own eggs right here a good month earlier than what we would do out on the Lake St. Clair system. You know, we get these eggs in mid to late May, sometimes early June, and that's a late start for us to get fish up to the size that we really desire to have stocked in our inland waters and our Great Lakes waters. And I think that pretty soon we're gonna turn the page, we're gonna have a good inland broodstock program. We're gonna be able to get our fish earlier, we're gonna make them bigger, bigger fish, better survival, better fishing. <laughs>